Hello YouTube. Welcome back to Bald Man Building an Airplane. This is uh, Fuselage Chapter 25. Well, Chapter 25 of the build. Fuselage build technically video number two. Um, this video is in, as my daughter would probably call it, mega speed. She, she likes the word mega. Um, <clears throat> since a lot of this prep work is both tedious, boring, and also likely going to be repeated, uh, I have doubled the speed again over top of the normal speed of the time lapse. Um, yeah, so to follow up on the video, or the last video, uh, 62 hours. 62 hours went into the chapters 25, 26 that I uh, worked through and then subsequently had to tear all back apart. Um, some of it's not entirely wasted because I am going to reuse some of the parts, um, but a lot of it was in fact wasted time, which is really unfortunate, but what you're gonna do, right? Uh, I would like a safe and crack-free airplane. So, yeah, just gonna have to redo it. So, this is uh, just a lot of prepping the parts for primer. Um, and, you know, the funny thing is here, and this is really hilarious, actually. Maybe it's not funny. I, I guess I've just moved on to the, the acceptance stage of, of all of this. Um, I am priming a lot of these pieces because many of them had, or I just rather, I decided to prime almost the entire um, structure of the fuselage because of a couple of reasons. Number one, there were laser score marks on a lot of the parts and or there were um, places where someone had taken a grinder to the part or like a grinding wheel or something like that to the part just sort of like knock off the sort of laser you know like the the molten metal that did splash back on it and it's like that creates you know that takes away that alkaline aluminum layer so it's like well i guess i gotta prime them secondly uh because i will be painting the interior of the airplane as well so i should probably have a primer coat so okay there's that um <laughs> but yeah so I did a bunch of prep, and I then primed these parts. Um, and again, the part, the main big part there on the right side is being binned. And the bigger pieces aren't. Oh, those are the brackets for the control sticks. And then uh, these are the brackets that hold the rear spars. And uh, I'm taking some time on them because I had not run the paint gun for a while. And, uh, yeah, I didn't do such a great job with the primer. I have since um, learned, and I've gotten a lot better with it. In however many weeks when I get to that video, I will uh, happily display my results of a primed wing. And um, it's not perfect, but, you know, if it's got a little bit of texture... Uh, that's somewhat okay with me because I'm going to knock it down to nothing before I put a final, you know, top coat on it. But there were no drips, right? So what I was doing with a sandpaper on some of these parts was um, eliminating, uh, you know, standing off the drips that I had made by applying, applying too much paint um, at some point. So good thing, you know, don't need to deal or I've learned from that. I don't, you know, cause drips on my painting but at this point I still was so this whole process of building an airplane is an educational process and uh, it's really awesome despite the crap that you go through so yeah I like learning things that's why I got my pilot's license um, so yeah this whole assembly that I've just put together and riveted it gets torn apart I don't think I have video of tearing it apart. I probably angrily tear it apart, but hey, we'll see. 
Uh, so that's it for this one. Come back next time. I think I'm going to start work on um, the spar in the next video. So we'll see you then. Bye.